Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, where I'm Jed Morgan, and after yesterday's video about The Last of Us rating numbers, I wanted to go into a further breakdown of those numbers to say why I really believe that they're not that good. They're fine, they're almost okay, but they're not good by any stretch of the imagination, which had some people surprised considering that it was the second highest premiere in HBO Max's history in the last 10 years at least, with HBO included in that as well. The thing is, though, it's not that good considering the franchise that is involved, comparing it to other shows that have not had the hype or the marketing campaign. And that's probably the biggest aspect of this is the marketing campaign for The Last of Us, coupled with the absolute praise from both critics and viewers, should make this a astronomically higher rated show than it currently is. People are talking about it online, but strangely enough, people in my personal life aren't talking about it like even with rings of power house of the dragon with your blood origin tons of people i knew were talking about it but no one i know was talking about the last of us which is strange and even on this platform here on youtube last of us views are nowhere near as high as other franchise reviews or franchise in news related videos were with like rings of power and witcher blood origin last of us is just not as trending as high as it should be even on twitter it isn't coming up in the top trending category and rings of power even did that it's a very strange situation considering the absolute bombastic praise that is going on with this show the fact that it's really not receiving the type of viewership numbers or the interaction that believed this show would be considering all the factors involved but i want to jump into this breakdown really quickly so this is reported by deadline several other places that the first episode received 4.7 million viewers and it's not bad i'm not trying to say this is bad by any stretch of the imagination it's just not good considering all the factors of the last of us now some people were confused when i said that the last of us is a massive franchise how big it is how beloved it is but it really is the perfect example comparison between The Last of Us and another franchise that I'll get into in a little bit here is Halo, considering the TV adaptation of that also came out this year. But to prove Last of Us is a big franchise, first of all, we have this report that The Last of Us series, so this is both parts, sold 37 million copies. That is insane. Considering that's just two games, that is incredibly impressive. And the official numbers for Last of Us 2 are at 10 million copies. So that's 27 million copies for the original Last of Us game. That is astronomical, that is insane. This is putting it as some of the highest selling video games of all time. It is a juggernaut of a franchise and that juggernaut status is something that cannot be failed to be included into the expectations for a show like The Last of Us. It's nowhere near Game of Thrones level, so of course House of the Dragon should be higher viewed than it, but it should still be substantially higher than just the paltry 4.7 million. And of course the consolidated views for next week might get it higher. The consolidated of course has to come out. These are just the overnight numbers, but even for just the overnight, these aren't that good. I wonder how it's going to trend in the future. The big thing on HBO that it did beat is the Game of Thrones original premiere with 2.2 million views back in the day. And that was because Game of Thrones wasn't a franchise yet. Yes, there were books about it, but it wasn't the juggernaut that it is today. So yes, of course it beat that. It's still a matter of comparisons to the status of where the show is and where the franchise is as a whole. As much as I despise Last of Us Part 2 and didn't think the show was that good, it is a healthy franchise. 37 million copies sold is something that you cannot balk at or ignore. But the franchise that we need to compare this to is Halo. Halo is also one of the highest selling games of all time, one of the most beloved game series of all time. And it recently had a television adaptation earlier this year on Paramount+. Plus. The first thing I want to note is the original Last of Us, like I said, 27 million copies sold. The second Last of Us, 10 million copies sold. So Halo Infinite just came out last year. How many sales did that have? more recently it only got 2 million copies sold worldwide so it's not a healthy franchise compared to the last of us it really isn't as high as it should be halo was not in a good place even before its tv show came out so reasonably the halo show should be less viewed than the last of us should be viewed that's a very reasonable perspective especially considering that paramount plus is a third rate streaming platform it is about a third of the size maybe about half the size of hbo max according to the last numbers that i saw so of course halo should be substantially viewed less than something like the last of us well when you look at the halo tv show numbers it beat the last of us in overnight it had 4.9 million viewers opposed to last of us 4.7 now that is a small small difference but, but considering the strength of the franchise and the size of the streaming service involved Halo should not even be that close. It should not be above it, even by that slim margin. 
Yes, the consolidated numbers might end up being different with the consolidated Halo numbers versus the consolidated Last of Us numbers, but the overnight compared to the overnight isn't good. Everyone who's saying that The Last of Us is breaking records, yes, technically that is true for HBO, but for the size of this franchise, for the height, the marketing campaign has been next level. I can't turn anywhere without seeing Last of Us ads running. Because of all those factors involved, it's not doing that well. And I have a series of other shows that I want to compare, some new, some later, that did roughly the same or substantially better than The Last of Us that have no business being even remotely compared to it. The first of which that I want to compare is Arrow. Now, when it initially came out, Arrow was on the CW and the CW has never been financially profitable. So no show on the CW should be even remotely compared to a juggernaut like HBO as a studio or HBO Max as a streaming platform. And Arrow, we hadn't really had a lot of good superhero TV shows at the time. Smallville ended kind of rough for a lot of people, but people liked it and it got enough interest in the Arrow that people were interested, but it was still a third rate character, not a whole lot of interest in Arrow as a character on a platform that was never financially viable and just a lot of factors against Arrow and nobody knew how good the original seasons of Arrow were going to be. And Arrow's overnight numbers with the Nielsen data ended up being 4.14. So yes, Last of Us did beat it, but with all those factors involved, Arrow had no business being this good, being viewed this high. And Last of Us is barely beating it. That's not a good comparison to be made for a franchise like The Last of Us. If Arrow, a third-bit superhero TV show on a non-profitable streaming service, can nearly get to the same number 10 years ago, then we've got a problem. We've got a major problem for The Last of Us. And in the same Arrowverse vein, The Flash also had some interesting numbers initially. Now, The Flash, it is later on. People knew that The Arrow was good and this was a spinoff of it, so there was a little bit more interest and The Flash is a much bigger character than Arrow, but it still beat The Last of Us. It still beat The Last of Us. It shouldn't be the case. The CW should not be beating a juggernaut genre television show like The Last of Us on a juggernaut platform like HBO Max. It's quite sad, actually. The more I delve into these numbers, the more I'm going from these aren't okay numbers for The Last of Us to these are bad numbers for The Last of Us. I would say healthy streaming overnight numbers for The Last of Us from all the different platform, cross-platform, would be between 8 and 10. That would be a healthy number of views for The Last of Us and be a good, good numbers for them. But it's not even there. I'm actually getting closer to saying that these are bad viewership numbers for them, all things considered. Now we're going to go into less genre-related TV, some more reality TV, more episodic type stuff that has no business competing with the juggernaut of Last of Us as a franchise or HBO as a platform. Now these other ones, they have barely a marketing campaign. These other shows I'm going to show you in a second have very, very, very little in way of a marketing campaign, and yet it's destroying them. SWAT. I've never watched a single episode of SWAT. I don't even think I've even seen a trailer for it. And I don't know a single person who watches the show. Well, it got 4.7 as well. It got the same. It got the same viewership numbers as The Last of Us in its premiere for its new season just a few months ago. And I've never really heard anyone talk about it before. It doesn't have the marketing campaign or the franchise IP backing it like The Last of Us does. That's really, really sad if SWAT is beating it. What about NCS Hawaii? No one gives a shit about NCIS Hawaii. It, those spinoffs have never really done super well. Without Mark Harmon, it's not really NCIS in my opinion. And it really beat it with 5.3 million. I didn't even know NCIS Hawaii was a thing yet. I knew about LA and New Orleans, but I had no idea Hawaii was a thing. And it destroyed Last of Us. What about the actual main NCIS show? This is the first season without Mark Harmon in the role of Gibbs. Will it be viewed as high? Will people be checking in? I know a lot of people who were done with the show as soon as Mark Harmon left. Well, let's see. NCIS, no Mark Harmon. It received 5.8 million viewers, a million more than The Last of Us did. A lot of people were done with the show because Mark Harmon wasn't involved anymore, and it still destroyed Last of Us. And we have another one similar to SWAT, Fire Country. I'd never heard of this either. It's really not got any sort of marketing campaign that I'm familiar with. Did even better than NCIS with 5.9 million views. This is sad for The Last of Us. If stuff like The Fire Country is beating it, this is not a good state for The Last of Us franchise considering the juggernaut of the franchise with 37 million copies sold with the star power involved. I hadn't mentioned that yet. The star power involved, there are a lot of big names in The Last of Us and it's not good by a matter of comparisons. If another show 
like some of these others that I mentioned got the same numbers as Last of Us, that would be very good. But The Last of Us is not on par with these other shows. It has a massive IP backing. It has a massive fan base backing it. And it's got a great, incredible story that people were looking forward to seeing on the big screen. It's got star power behind it. It's got so much in its favor. Last of Us has so much in its favor from the great source material to the creators coming back to the occasional talented actor, even though I don't think they're giving talent performances in the show to being on HBO, the budget involved. It's got every single possible factor in its favor, marketing, audience hype, critic hype, and yet it is stumbling, stumbling very early on. And that whole thing about it being the second highest viewed HBO premiere in the last 10 years isn't that good when you take all these factors into account. And last of all, I want to mention Blue Bloods. It's season 13, late in the tooth. Tom Selleck is in it, but no one really talks about Blue Bloods anymore. And it got 6.3 million, nearly 2 million views more than The Last of Us. Blue Bloods is not a franchise IP that even remotely compares to something like The Last of Us that sold 37 million copies. That, that's kind of hard to quantify how impressive that is for just two games. Just two games. If Halo is getting better views than it at the state of the Halo franchise is in right now with the garbage that that show was, this isn't a good sign for The Last of Us going into it. Maybe the views will get better. Maybe the consolidators will blow all these other shows out of the water. Maybe the, each episode will grow and grow and grow with the hype exponentially increasing. But for right now, this is not a good start for a show like The Last of Us. And it's just too boring for a lot of normies. And that was one of my biggest issues with it, but people are responding to it positively. So maybe this is just a temporary setback for The Last of Us, but as much as I spin it saying that it's the second highest, it isn't actually good when you compare all the factors involved. Just like how Velma's saying it's the highest premiere adult animation cartoon on the HBO Max network, isn't that good when you consider the actual factors involved with Santa Inc. being its only major competition on that platform. As much as these studios, these companies, these streaming services are going to spin, when you look into these numbers, it's not as healthy of a number system as you would imagine from what they tell you. Don't always take things like these articles at face value. Don't just believe, oh, they say it's amazing, so it must be amazing. There are other factors to take into it, and I'm actually okay with this. I'm very surprised. I was one of the people who was going into it with heavy, like, it's not going to be good mentality. And I believe that was confirmed. It was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. However, I never said it was going to get bad viewership numbers. I'm shocked at how bad these viewership numbers are. It more aligns with my feelings towards the show than I would have initially predicted. This is not a good sign for HBO as much as they say it is. And they can't spin this forever. We'll see again, once again, how the numbers do in the next week and the next coming months with the rest of the season coming out. But so far, this is not a good starting position for a juggernaut like HBO Max's The Last of Us should be. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. Hey, yo, are you feeling what I'm doing up in here? Oh, I know you are. Do you miss all the good, compelling stories that we used to get back in Hollywood that they ain't putting down no more? Oh, oh, I know you missing it. So check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern day mental illness issues, baby. Book one, Down in Flames. Book two, Apocalypse Then. These are currently on sale. What are you waiting for? Get your hands on them. And we got book three, Kill the Dark, is coming down the pipeline. Just wait for all the good stuff that's dropping. You ain't gonna be disappointed, fam.